Trans black pioneer Rachel Dolezal took a trip to South Africa to share the experiences of her struggles as a self-identified African American. Students were outraged, some saying only a white person could claim blackness and tour the world talking about being black to black people. Another attendee demanded to know, what are your daily experiences as a black person? Is it wearing braids? What is it? I also dug a little bit and I found this little clip I think you guys might appreciate. Could you please and that's because so many people want you to leave. We want you to go home. I was born to white parents in a TV, which is like a tent. All of this is no doubt a push to sell her latest novel in full color. What I love about all this is Rachel Dolezal is applying the same logic to transgenderism to this supposed trans racism. And I found these interesting reviews here. Save your money! I stopped reading when she wrote that doing her household chores as a child was the same as the institution of chattel slavery in America, making her an indentured servant, and this caused her to endure the same experience as black slaves. I stopped reading, so I don't know if she ever addressed her stories about being discriminated against that were proven false. And this other one here. Wrong on so many levels. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Her argument for the validity of self-identification as the opposite effect since, since it reads as a prime example of reductio ad absurdum. Being compelled to do chores as a child is a form of chattel slavery? Really? I'm glad I only skimmed the first few couple of chapters at my local bookstore. Purchasing would have been a complete waste of money. Save yours. Rachel Dolezal is a sort of litmus test for the reasonable mind. Most reasonable minds would say, you can't identify as a race. That seems very obvious. However, a lot of people are so eager to embrace anyone that is slightly different that somebody who imagines that they are black are automatically just brought in into the big unicorn hug. She even went as far as to compare herself to Caitlyn Jenner, which, you know, they're both as just as attractive, I suppose. I think we need to have Rachel Dolezal go and speak at the University of California, Berkeley. I think that could be a lot of fun. I know the people there are very open-minded, and I think it could just be a recipe for a good time. <laughs>